This right here is probably the smallest projector available on the market. So this is called the Centrium L1. It weighs under 200 grams. And yes, it is that small that it can fit in your palm. So you can basically take this with you anywhere. Now, aside from being a projector, this is also an Android TV box. So this runs Android 9. And of course, you have access to the Google Play Store and all the applications that you can install from the Google Play Store, like Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. You can even play games on it um, if you want. Aside from that, we also have a 3000 mAh battery inside, and that means that you don't need to have this connected to a power source, so it can run by itself for about two and a half hours, and that gives you enough time to actually watch a movie anywhere you are. It also has dual band Wi-Fi connectivity, and that means that you could potentially make a hotspot with your smartphone and connect the projector to your phone's hotspot, and this way you have internet pretty much anywhere you go. We also have Bluetooth 5.0, and that means that you can connect some Bluetooth speakers or some Bluetooth headphones, and this way you don't actually need any cables connected to the projector itself. And on top of that, the top side of the projector here is also a touchpad, so you don't necessarily need to bring the remote control everywhere you go, because you can just go with the finger at the top of the device here and control it um, that way. So super easy to use and quite impressive to see all the tech that was fitted in such a small device. Alright, why don't we start with a super quick unboxing. So in the box, you're going to find a small tripod for the projector. So the projector has a quarter inch screw hole at the bottom and you can technically place this anywhere if you have a quarter inch screw somewhere on the ceiling or anything like that. Aside from that, we have the remote control for it. But as I said, you don't necessarily need to use the remote control to use this. We have an HDMI cable. We have a micro USB cable so you can charge the device. We have the power adapter and of course the user manual. And the user manual has a lot of information, mostly if this is your first project it could come in handy. The projector itself is mostly made out of plastic and yes, this is probably one of the coolest devices that I've seen over the past 3-4 years, mostly because of the size and the tech that it packs inside. Alright, so on the front here we have some holes for cooling, inside the projector there is also a fan, and if you're close enough to it, yes, you can hear that fan. Next to that we have the lens. On the left hand side we have the focus um, adjustment and keep in mind that this projector has auto keystone adjustment so you don't have to adjust that manually. We also have a slot for um, a micro SD card. On the back we have the charging port, we have a reset button, we have the HDMI port and that means that you can connect any device to this. So if you have a laptop or um, a gaming thing you can connect it to this um, projector. We also have a USB-A port and that means that if you have some movies on um, a USB stick you can connect it to this and watch um, anytime. We also have a 3.5 mil audio jack on the back there as well and um, on the other side we have the power on off um, button. When you turn this on, you're greeted to a super simple interface. And as I said, it is super simple to use this. You can either use the touchpad at the top here with your finger, or you can use the remote control that comes in the box. So since we have access to that Google Play Store, you can install any application from the Google Play Store or almost any application from the Google Play Store. So personally, I've tried the YouTube app and the Netflix app, but as you know, there are a lot of applications in there. You can even install games if you want. You could potentially connect a mouse or a control to the projector itself because overall this is still a TV box as well. So you have that option as well into making this a little gaming um, device um, if I may say. Now the maximum brightness for the LED lamp inside is 60 lumens so you're gonna have to use this in a pretty dark room otherwise um, your experience may not be that great and uh, the native resolution is 854 by 480p so technically 480p but if you have some 4k movies on a usb stick for example you can still play those but again you're going to be seeing them in 480p which is the native resolution of the projector according to the manufacturer you can also play 3d movies or 3d files on it but of course you're going to be needing some 3d glasses in order to do that and the 3d glasses don't come in the box you're going to have to buy those um, separately personally i'm not a big fan of 3d movies but for those of you that are um, this could potentially do 3d movies um, as well i also want to show you how loud this little fan inside it um, gets so i'm going to be quiet for a second just so you can catch that sound on the microphone i'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear it because it's not that loud but um, let me be quiet for a second So I'm not sure if you're actually able to hear the fan, but overall, if you are about a meter away from it, so about this far from it, you're not going to be able to hear the fan. But if you have it really close to your ear, you're definitely going to hear that fan. But overall, one of the quietest fans that I've heard in a projector, not to mention how small this projector is.
And just in case you're wondering, this also supports screen mirroring from pretty much any device. Personally, I've tried it from my iPhone. So if you want to see some videos that you have on your iPhone or if you want to see some pictures, it goes the same for Android or um, a laptop computer or anything like that. The device supports that as well. You enable that and then you connect to it um, from your device. So very simple to use. And yes, it gives you more access to more things that you have on your phone. And this way you can share them easily so you can actually see them um, projected on a screen or um, whatever you're projecting on. I also forgot to mention that this has 16 gigs of internal storage and 2 gigs of RAM. Now, out of that 16 gigs of internal storage, you get about 11 gigs after the operating system. But keep in mind that the device can take an SD card, so you can easily install an SD card and you can download more movies and TV shows on it for um, the times when you don't actually have an internet connection. So if you'd be to log into your Netflix account, it allows you to actually download a variety of movies and TV shows. And this way you don't necessarily need um, internet connection everywhere you go. So the Centrium L1 is one of the coolest projectors that I've ever seen, mostly because of the size and portability, because you can definitely take this with you anywhere. It can fit in your backpack, it can even fit in your pocket. So a very, very unique um, projector. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.